If we wish to create a brand new project from scratch, we can say File, New, Embed Project. And from here, as we said, we're going to always select Embed OS 6. And we're going to choose Empty Embed OS Project so we can start fresh. So we're just going to click on here, or we don't need to initialize it here. And we can call it anything we like here. The KS for Kyle Studio underscore Lab 3A and Push Button. When we add Project, it's going to make it the Active Project. And we can open this up. We can take a look at main. And you can see here that main is really just a very, very basic shell of a program. What we're going to do is we're going to add to this program to understand a little bit more about push button. What I've done here is I've added a programmer's block with a title, author, date, and description. And if this was for a student, they'd put in their name, student ID, and their lab section here. Now this program will cause the red LED to turn on when the right push button is pressed and turn off when the right push button is released. We've used DigiLoud here to make red a label that is associated with the actual pin that is connected to the red LED, which is LED 1 here. Uh, we've used DigiLin to say right push button is the label associated with the right push button, which is SW2. And inside here, we've set red equals one, which turns off the red LED to start because we have an infinite loop in here. Now you can use while one, or you can use forever, which is two semicolons in here. They do exactly the same thing. It makes an infinite loop or endless loop here. Now inside the endless loop here, it says if the right push button is equal zero, as we saw before, which means it's pressed, then what we're gonna do is turn on the red LED. And if it's not pressed, we're going to turn off the red light. And it's pretty simple, so let's see how this works. What you can see here is that I'm running the debug mode. And before I do step over, you can see our red LED is on. So if I do step over, the red LED is now off. And if I go into run mode, what I'm going to see is if I push the button, the LED comes on. Release the button, the LED goes off. And as I keep doing this, we're always going to get LED on for push and LED off for release.